Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Glad tidings for the believers And especially during this holy month of Ramadan That the door of Tawbah is open for us The door of repentance that we can repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then he'll accept our repentance. But it has to be sincere. And you have to be determined to leave the sin. And you have to try your best to avoid those environments of the sin that you commit. Those are some of the shurut or conditions for tawbah that the ulama they mention. And what makes us know how azim and how great Tawbah is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the things that lets us know that we are not hopeless, no matter what sins we're committing, is that even the hypocrites, even the hypocrites, even those people who believed and they renounced Islam, those people who are uh, Ahl uh, Ilhad or Ahl the people uh, 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 who, who left Islam and came back or left Islam that they even have an opportunity to come to Allah by repenting taking their shahada again and re repenting and removing themselves from the evil which caused them or encouraged them to leave the blessed religion of Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the hypocrites Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem kayfa yahdi Allah qawman kafaru ba'da imanihim wa shahidu anna rasul haqqun wa ja'ahum al-bayyinat wallahu la yahdi al-qawm al-zalimin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and how will how can Allah or how will Allah guide a people who disbelieved after they had Iman after they had faith and they witnessed that the messenger was the truth and what he came with was clear the clear bayonet and Allah does not guide the oppressive wrongdoers then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the next ayat, Ula'ika jaza'ahum anna alayhim la'natullahi wal malaikati wal nasi ajma'een. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, they are those whose reward is that Allah curses them, and the angels curse them. And all of humankind curses them. Look at that. The people who leave Allah, they get the curses of Allah, they get the curses of the angels, and they get the curses of all of mankind. May Allah protect us from that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا لَا يُخَفَّفُ عَنْهُمَ الْعَذَابِ وَلَا هُمْ يَنْظُرُونَ And they will reside therein forever you know they will have these curses forever <laughs> and they will the, the the punishment will not be diminished or they they will not have any takhfif they will not have any lightness and and and, and uh, from the punishment the punishment will be continual and it will not get it uh, weaker or easier for them and they will not see then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he gives the istithna in the ayat قال سبحانه إلا الذين تابوا من بعد ذلك وأصلحوا فإن الله غفور رحيم. And that's the point that we want to take a look at for the purpose of what we're discussing now. Allah سبحانه وتعالى makes exception. He says, except those who repent after that, meaning after they 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 did all that evil, they left. The, clear, the clarity of the sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they left the beauty of Islam. So after that, then they repented. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ tabu, Except those who repent after that, and they rectify themselves. 
Verily, Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. Allahu Akbar. Letting us know our Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, His Rahmah extends. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Hadith Qudsi, Qala, in the Rahmati Taghlibu Ghaddibi. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Verily my mercy supersedes my wrath. Letting us know the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is open. The door of repentance is open. So go through it. And I'm encouraging myself first and foremost, because I'm the first one who's in need of this reminder. But I want this to be a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to go through that door of repentance. Come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what you did. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.